Hey everybody, Mrs. Bodishon here. Today we're talking atomic radii. And that just is saying, how big is your atom? We have an atomic radius trend to follow on the periodic table, and you can see it's increasing as we go down and to the left, which is just to say that the smallest elements are gonna be found in the upper right-hand corner, and it's gonna increase with size as we go down to the bottom left-hand corner where our largest elements are found. Now notice we are skipping over the D block or those transition metals. They do not really follow this trend, so we're gonna be ignoring them for now. We need to understand why this trend is in effect. So if we're looking as we're going across the periodic table, so as a, across the period, we are increasing that number of um, protons as we move across. Well, with every added proton, we are increasing the attraction to the surrounding electrons. So in other words, what's happening, those um, positive and negatives are attracting and those protons are pulling in on the electrons more and more as we get an increased number of protons. So those energy levels will be kind of compressed in and our atom is going to shrink down in size because of that strong attraction with each added proton. All right, now as we go down the periods, so working our way down the periodic table, um, the trend is that our atoms are gonna get larger. And the really easy way to remember this is that it looks like a snowman, right? So you can see this over here is three in a row and it does look like a little snowman's body. And that will help you remember that it's going to increase in size as you go down. Why does it increase in size? Because with each period, which is just a row on the periodic table, is going to add an energy level. And the energy level are these rings that you're seeing here. So this has two rings or two energy levels, which means it's gonna be in period two. This one has three, so it's in period three. And you guys get it, right? So this one has four energy levels, so it's in period four. Okay, I want you to try an example. So go ahead and pause this video and put these elements right here in order from the smallest to the largest atomic radii. Go ahead and pause, and I'm gonna show you the answer. All right, let's check it out. So we have from smallest to largest is fluorine, chlorine, sodium, and potassium. I went ahead and I outlined them here on the periodic table for you. You can see in the upper left-hand corner is gonna be our smallest, and that is gonna be fluorine. As we work down, you can see chlorine is next. And then over here um, on the left-hand side, which is gonna be our metal side of the periodic table, we have sodium and then potassium. Let's try another one. Go ahead and put these order in order from smallest to largest on um, the periodic table. Pause your video and let's check the answer. All right, you ready? Here we go. So smallest again is going to be fluorine because we're still in that upper left-hand corner. These are all non-metals and they're all super close together. It's really easy to go ahead and say that our largest is going to be sulfur. The part that's difficult is the two in the middle. Um, I can tell you that oxygen is going to be slightly smaller than chlorine. Here's why. Oxygen is in period two, which means it has two energy levels, while chlorine is in period three, which means it has three energy levels, so it's a slightly larger atom. So hopefully you got that one correct. Okay, on average, which family would have the smallest radii and which family would have the largest radii? Go ahead and pause and think about this, and we're going to check out our answer. Okay, here we go. So our smallest is of course gonna be our noble gases, and then the largest are gonna be our alkali metals. You guys, I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button to see more. Bye everybody.